It's JP Positive with another episode of Pokemon TCGO, guys. We're going back in with the Dust Main Necrozma Diagla GX deck. Like always, deck list will be down below in that description. For anybody that is interested, I have not played this deck in quite some time. I'm actually going in in expanded mode. So we're going to go ahead and see if we could possibly get a victory for everybody out there watching. Hopefully we do, and then Forbidden Light is coming very soon, guys. This Saturday, I will be going to the Midnight Pre-Release, and I will be having some Forbidden Light openings for you guys, as well as Forbidden Light Code giveaways. If you guys did miss out on my monthly giveaway, you guys can still get your entry right now. Make sure that you check that link in the description below, because I am going to be giving away 25 Forbidden Light online codes to one lucky winner for my monthly giveaway that's right 25 forbidden light codes i did say i was going to announce the winner on the 12th i believe it was of may but i'm actually going to probably do it sooner than that so that you guys can go ahead and open those packs as soon as possible so we're going to start off and put an energy on our dust main necrozma and we are going to go ahead and ultra ball but first we're going to professor's letter because I don't want to get rid of too much stuff that's in my hand. And I do need the Lele. So we'll go ahead Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of a Field Blower. And we'll get rid of one Energy. Because we can get that Energy back with Mount Cornet. We'll get out our first Magnemite. And then hopefully our second turn. We can get a Magnezone up. Uh, probably not guys. But. That's what we're hoping for. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn. We do see a Talonflame on our opponent's side of the field. As well as a Metatite on the bench. And they just put the carving down. So let's see what we're going to be going against. Not too sure. Cynthia out of my opponent's hand. So we are not going to be reshuffling our hand into our deck with an N. That's pretty good. Brooklyn Hill out. So I think they're going to be taking out a Buzzwool GX. Not 100% sure. Okay. No. They take out a Metatite. And... A Reggie Rock EX. So we definitely want to go ahead and try and knock out that Reggie Rock EX. I'm gonna end, guys. I'm not gonna use the Lele right now. <clears throat> Actually, if I end, I might be helping my opponent out. So let's see if we could possibly evolve this turn. Do I have a Skyla in my deck? That's a good question. Oh, I do have a Skyla, so I can actually go ahead and grab a rare candy. Evolve into my Magnezone, put the Mount Cornet out, attach two energy onto my active, do 250 to the Talent Flame and knock it out, which is kind of not that great. But actually, you can only use this attack if you have more prize cards than your opponent, so we're not going to be able to use that. We will go ahead, throw out Mount Cornet, we will go ahead, Skylar for the rare candy, and evolve our Magnemite, guys. Let's see what happens. Phil Sneeze coming on, so if anybody does, uh, if I do happen to sneeze, yes, I do feel Sneeze coming on. So, Magnemite, Magnezone, we'll go ahead and attach energy to our Dust Main, and Mount Cornet, use that Magnetic Circuit, and attach one more energy onto our Dust Main, the Crossman GX. Very nice right there. Next turn we do have an I don't think we're going to be getting knocked out. So we should be okay. 60 damage onto the Tana Flame. And we couldn't get that extra energy up to knock him out. But that's okay guys. So let's see what our opponent has in store for us. Things are looking pretty good. They do evolve into the Metacham and into the Carping Break. With one energy onto the Tana Flame. We do have an end, so that's really good. If they're going to be taking cards out they need, we are going to reshuffle their hands. So... And another Metacham and a Trainer's Mail. Wow. Okay, and they're going to be doing 60 damage to us, as well as grabbing any two cards that they would like from their deck and putting them into their hand. Now, we are going to be getting a knockout this turn. Let's see what we can do, guys. Hmm. We definitely need the end. I can't Ultra Ball. I don't have enough cards in my hand. Okay, so we do get the extra energy we need. But remember, we always have to discard three energies from ourselves. And we do have Mount Cornet, so that's okay. So we're just going to go ahead and attack with the... Uh, I have to do 220, sadly. I would like to do less. 
But unfortunately, with the situation at hand right now, I need to knock out this Talon Flame. And I still don't think my opponent's going to be able to get a knockout on me. We do have the energy that we need to attack next turn, so we should be okay unless our opponent does happen to end us or something like that. Choice Band onto the Carbink as well as a special fighting energy, which gives it an extra 20 hit points. And let's see what our opponent is up to. They may be getting a knockout on our Dustmane Necrozma. Only one energy, but I believe they only need one energy to attack. I could be wrong. That first attack on the Carbink is only one energy. We do see a Kukui come up and being used again. They're really trying to get this knockout on my Dustmane Necrozma. Will they get it? That is the question. Oh, and they don't get it. So we're safe, guys. Very nice. I was actually, uh, I was in a little bit of fear right there because I wasn't sure what my opponent was up to. So what are we going to do? We're definitely going to Sycamore this turn. So I'm going to go ahead, Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of the Magna Zone. And we'll get rid of a Bridget because we're not going to need Bridget right now. We'll go ahead, Lele. And do we have our Sycamore? Okay, we do have a few Sycamores, so we should be okay. I am definitely going to go ahead and mount Cornet this turn and attach all my energies to my active before I Sycamore my hand, which is a very good idea. We'll go ahead and Magnetic Circuit, guys. Attach our two energies onto our active Pokemon. And then we'll go ahead and Lele for the Sycamore. I can actually Cynthia, which might be a better option. Let's see, guys. Hmm. Actually, we're going to go ahead and Sycamore. Yeah, we're not going to Cynthia. I couldn't find a Cynthia in there, to be honest with you. I didn't see one. So we're just going to go ahead, try and get some more energy so that we can start setting up our Dust Mane Necrozma that is on our bench. And we do get some more energies. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and attach those to our Rainbow Warrior Dust Mane Necrozma GX. And then we'll go ahead and attack our opponent's active with 220 and go ahead and knock them out. Now we still have to be careful for sure. We are going to be getting knocked out this turn, but then we are going to be getting the knockout with our dust main. So should be okay. Only 90 damage for this meta champ. I might actually throw three energy onto a Lele and just knock him out. To be honest with you, I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. I think I'm going to throw three energy onto a Lele and then just knock him out with the Lele because I don't want to waste my Dustmane Necrozma, and he is going to be able to knock me out this turn for sure. Nice with the Sycamore. Six Wings doing a very good job holding up with this Dustmane Necrozma GX. And a Choice Band as well. So it will be a knockout, but they're going to have a pretty hard time setting somebody else up. So right now, I feel pretty safe. And we see another carbine come out of that discard pile with the rescue stretcher. They'll be laying him down on the bench. And then they're going to attack for the knockout. But they're still behind, guys. So, what are we going to do? Do I really want to bring up... No, I don't want to bring up the Necrozma. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the three energy onto my Lele. They do get a double attack. So... That was actually a good move by me. I'm going to go ahead, Acerola. Bring out my Dustmane Necrozma. I will put a Lele back down onto the bench. Do we want to grab a supporter? No, we really don't need to right now. We'll go ahead and grab our two energies that we need. We are going to go ahead. Hmm. This is really all we can do. We have to hope that our opponent's not able to set up again next turn, even if they are. They won't be able to get a knockout on us, but I don't think we have another Acerola to actually save us. So we need to be careful. 220 damage onto the Metacham, knocking it out. Three more prize cards left for us. And let's see where we stand after this, guys. We are constantly taking our prize cards. I mean, we are constantly taking our energies out of the discard. So I should only have... Okay, there's only eight in there. Not too bad. Do have a couple Mount Cornets in my hand. I don't think they're going to be able to get a knockout, so we should be safe. But I don't want to talk too soon, guys. This deck is kind of whipping me. It's keeping up with me. It's keeping up with me, not whipping me. 
very, very nicely keeping up with me. I can say that. They need one more energy onto the carbink. Actually, they don't, but they only need two energies here in order to attack. So, Rescue Stretcher, they take out another carbink and another Medichan. And let's see what they're able to do. Wally. So, they're going to be evolving into the Medicham. We're not too worried about that. Diamond Gift, only 50 damage. Okay, so now we need a Guzma, guys. Huh. How can I do this? I need a Guzma. And I need a couple energies. So, what I'm going to do is Ultra Ball for a Lele. We'll get rid of a Magnemite and an Oranguru. Do we have a Guzma in our deck? We do have a Guzma in our deck. Bad thing is we don't have any other Lele's in our deck. So that we can go ahead and grab the Guzma out. Which really, really sucks. Okay, so we're actually going to cancel that, guys. Not much we can do. Actually, what I could do is bring out another... Or bring out the Agla GX. Why not? Let's see what we can do. If they're going to go twice, maybe we can go twice as well. We'll go ahead and bring out that Theogla GX. And we're going to go ahead. Should we end? Hmm. I definitely need to take the two energies out of my discard and attach them to my active before I start thinking about anything like that. So let's go ahead and magnetic circuit, guys. And attach these energies onto our dust main necrozma. Hopefully we can get that Diagla GX up. That would be very, very nice. And I'm going to go ahead and Cynthia. Once again, this is still a very close game. Still anybody's game. So we do have to be careful. And watch out. Let's see. What are we going to do? Hmm. So I need to attach an attack. Not much else I can do, guys. I think we are going to be getting the knockout next turn on that Metacham with our Lele. Even if they do grab the two prize cards for Necrozma. And then I don't think they're going to have much left to set up. But we'll see what happens. We could be totally wrong and we could... Yeah. Things could look very bad. Right now they're doing 90 damage with their attack. And they could go twice. So. Let's see what happens. Does their turn happen again? Let's see. May attack twice during a turn. First attack knocks off the opponent. You may attack after. Okay, that's pretty cool. Metacham. Have not played against Metacham in quite some time, so I did really forget about that barrier ability. It's not really an ability. I believe it's called an ancient trait. So, yoga kick. And they will be able to attack me twice, but we will be going ahead and knocking them out. With a Lele. Is it going to be a Lele? Hmm. Let's see. I think I need to bring out the Diagla GX. And hit him with Timeless GX. But uh, there's no way of me guaranteeing that I'm actually going to get the 5 energy. But I'm going to risk it anyways for you guys out there watching. We're going to go ahead and take this risk that I normally wouldn't take. Just to see if we can go ahead and Timeless GX our opponent guys. That's what we're going to go ahead and do. I am going to go ahead and stick them more in my hand. I know I do have a couple of prof professor's letters in my deck. So I think I should be okay. Let's see if we can win it with the Agla GX. If not, then I made a huge misplay. Professor Sycamore, can we get a professor's letter? Yes, we do. And we do get the necessary energy to knock out our opponent as well. So very nice, guys. We are going to be using Timeless GX. We should be able to go again, and we should be able to knock out one of their bench Pokemon. Now, I do not have a Guzma in hand. That's the problem right now. Not having a Guzma in hand is a bit of an issue because I know that they are going to be bringing up that Regirock. So, we'll go ahead. We'll take off. We actually don't need to take that off. Because we're going to be knocking him out. We'll take, off, we'll take it off anyways just so that we could take two items off of our opponent. And what do we want to do? Okay, we want to make sure that we're able to get the knockout next turn. No matter who they bring up. Even if I'm going to have... Hmm, there's really no way for me to get a Guzma right now, guys. No way for me to get a Guzma unless I happen to top deck it. Which I actually don't think is going to happen. 
So, I might actually have to bring out... Hmm. I know they're going to bring out the Reggie Rock to try and stall me. So the question is, can I get a Guzma up? And I don't think I can, which is going to be a bit of an issue. But they're not going to be able to retreat that Reggie Rock either, which is also going to be a plus for me. So let's get those energies out, get the uh, Diagla GX set up and ready for Timeless GX. And then I really want to set somebody else up, but I just don't know who it's going to be. Who's going to have enough energy on them? Hmm. <coughs> I don't think anybody is. I think I need to go ahead and attach this to a Lele. Oh, our opponent decided to concede. We were taking way too long on our turn. I do have to admit that, but I think we were doing pretty good. 190 damage by our MVP, Dust Mane Necrozma GX. So, like I said, I will be having Forbidden Light giveaways very soon, guys. More Forbidden Light, more Forbidden Light. This Saturday is the pre-release. I will be there having videos up, having giveaways up, all that fun, awesome stuff. So stay tuned with me, JP Positive. You guys are amazing. You're awesome. Like everybody knows, it's JP Positive, and I'm out.